Hi everyone, this is my December favourites video. Um, I'm sorry these videos have been really late. I went home to my parents' house over Christmas and left my tripod, so all of the beautiful filming I was going to do by their amazing Christmas tree didn't happen, so here we are. So it's a little bit late and probably not as Christmassy and lovely looking as it could be, but here goes. Um, so December is finally over, my goodness, I can't believe that it is January already. Um, the first thing I wanted to mention is the reason why I am in, i show you, I am in my Christmas jumper, I've got a nice Christmas tree on. Um, it is Christmas jumper day, it was one of my favourite things in December. Um, I organised at my workplace um, a Save the Children Christmas jumper day. If you haven't heard of Christmas jumper day, look it up ready for next year because um, it's a fantastic day. Basically, everybody has to come to your work or your school or wherever you are in Christmas jumpers. They pay a donation, the money goes to save the children. Um, so it's really good. You can also you know, make cookies, have little sales, all sorts. You can do all kind of fundraising ideas. Um, and at my workplace, we raised over £100. So I was really, really pleased. So that was definitely one of my favourite things from December. Um, the next thing, I've got a little notepad here to remind me because I know I'm going to forget something. Um, <coughs> This is a new one that I've just bought, but I've actually been loving the Inspiritus candle. Um, I don't know if you can see that. Um, this is made by the St. Evil um, company. I think they're based in Cornwall. Yeah, somewhere in the southwest. I will leave a link below so you can find it. Um, it says Inspiritus, an uplifting blend of aromatic spices. It smells like olives and olives? olives. It smells like cloves, oranges and cinnamon. Um, <clears throat> it smells really Christmassy, spicy, wintry. It's a really nice kind of um, fragrance for this time of year. Um, they do do tea lights and probably oils and things as well. <clears throat> I will leave a link so that you can check them out. Um, I used to work in a candle and jewellery shop so that was how I discovered these years ago when I was like a teenager um, and I tend to buy one of these for my mum kind of every December sort of time um, and she was burning one when I was home recently so Inspiritus, really nice kind of Christmassy candle, love that. Um, <clears throat> another favourite for this month, I'm sorry it's really dirty, is the Happy Light Luminous Serum Primer by Bourgeois. Um, you can see this one is nearly used up I'm kind of literally scraping out the last bits <laughs> um, at the moment so this is a primer um, it's really good <coughs> for my skin which is dry it does illuminate I do think you get a really nice kind of glow to the skin um, at first for some reason I didn't like it but I've been using it loads this month and now I really like it I think the, the trick is not to use too much of it I think before I was trying to put loads on it it just um, it was sort of clogging my skin, but, but that hasn't happened at all recently. I really like it. So this is Bourjois Happy Light Luminous Serum Primer. Um, I do think it keeps your makeup on well, but it also leaves it nice and glowy. I personally really like a dewy, kind of glowy look. Um, it says it is ideal for normal to dry skin. So if you've got an oily skin, I wouldn't go for it because obviously it's going to make you even more shiny. So um, that's definitely been a favourite this month. I can't remember how much that was. I want to say somewhere around the £6 mark. Um, but in the UK, they would be available at Boots and Superdrug. Um, I'll check out a price and put it underneath if anybody's interested. <coughs> um, another favourite, <coughs> um, kind of makeup wise, is the, I think I mentioned the Barry M Dazzle Dust, the bronze one, number 44, um, in one of my haul videos. I bought it from Superdrug. Um, I don't know how much, how well you can see that. Maybe I should put a little bit on my hand. Um, these are basically really kind of glittery, shimmery dusts. Um, you don't need to use a lot at all, and they come in like quite big, quite big pots. They're quite deep pots, they're small pots, but they last really well. Um, I've just put, I don't know if you can even see that. Um, it's kind of a shimmery bronze anyway. Um, so that was the one that I bought myself recently. Um, I was also lucky that my sister bought me one recently for Christmas. This one is actually a fine glitter dust, but it's a gold one. Again, a really nice kind of shimmery metallic. Um, and while I was back home with my mum and dad's, I found, I probably should have thrown this out by now, but I found um, a dazzle dust from like 2000 or whenever I last bought one that is number three, and this is like an iridescent blue. I would imagine they still sell this. Um, 
if not they'll definitely do one similar so the Barry M kind of glitter dazzle dusts really nice again for this time of year sort of sparkly winter time um, metallics um, I kind of really like those so if that's something else I've been loving um, <clears throat> what else was I going to show you um, again sort of in kind of beauty related stuff I've recently discovered the Aussie Miracle Hairspray for volume and hold this smells really bubblegummy like the rest of the kind of Aussie range I prefer this to VO5 hairspray, Weller hairspray. I've had some really bad hairsprays recently. Um, I only use hairspray if I'm um, curling my hair. Like when I go out, I do kind of low sort of curls. Um, but yeah, this one I liked because it still gives your hair a lot of movement. It doesn't get too straw-like. It smells really, really nice. I know that sounds silly, but I don't like it when you smell like perm lotion like you just smell dreadful and um, whereas this has got a really nice fragrance to it it holds well um, but you can brush it out easily um, it says blah, 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 styling formula with Australian sea kelp extract gives your style a tidal wave of extra volume and shine even with plus size hair it will still be light and sticky and long lasting I would agree with that I didn't find it sticky at all and it did hold my curls really well um, it won't, your dew won't be shifted by a breeze but it'll brush out like one so it's got a flexible hold um, and I really like it so yeah that's the Aussie Miracle Hairspray volume and hold um, the other thing I want to show you, this is a bit geeky but I'm going to do it anyway, um, I bought a A3 gold frame, um, sort of gold coloured frame, recently for about £7 from one of the flea markets and in there I got it because I always keep ticket stubs, people think I'm a real geek because I keep entrance for things like the cinema, museums, exhibitions, like anything, gigs, um, I just keep them all. Um, one of my friends keeps all his gig tickets and I thought it was a really nice idea so I've kept all of my entrance to things I've got a cinema ticket I've got stuff from folk festivals I've got bands that I've been to see I've got the ice rink in Brighton where I went ski uh, skiing <laughs> the ice rink where I went skating um, and I've basically just put them all in here um, so I really like that when it's it's still got I don't know if you can see it's still got a bit of a blank space at the bottom so when it's all full I think I will eventually put it up on the wall but you can see um, <clears throat> I think it's just quite a fun idea to kind of remember, ooh, I'm trying to get, um, I just like remembering really good nights that I've had and, you know, things that I've done, um, so yeah, um, other thing I've been loving, I will show you, I'm going to put it on, um, is my beanie, a nice winter beanie, um, my mum knitted this, the pattern I believe is called Kilimanjaro, uh, not that I'm going to go skating any mountains, but there we go, um, I don't know where the pattern comes from, I will ask her and find out for anyone that's interested, but it is basically a knit stitch beanie with kind of rib, um, what do you call it, border, edge, I don't know, um, and it's got a really cute little pom pom at the back, um, and obviously you can make <coughs> this section longer if you're somebody that likes a really kind of baggy sort of loose loose hat but I quite like this um, this was kind of a Christmas present well she gave it to me before Christmas actually and she'd just been knitting them um, but it's really warm really snug and I think it looks really cute with a little pom-pom um, so yeah thanks mum um, this is the end of my December favourites and um, what have you been loving in December please leave me a comment or let me know as always, give this video a thumbs up if you like it. You can follow me on Twitter, Pinterest, you can also go on my blog, on Blog Loving, or um, access it anyway on Blogspot. Um, I will leave all the links below. Um, let me know any videos that you would like to see, um, any reviews, tutorials, chats, anything, let me know um, and I will have a look. Um, hope you're all having a good 2015 so far. Um, yeah, take care. Bye. Thanks for watching. Bye.